I would like to introduce the extraordinary participants of this performance along with their roles. Anand Vinodini Mataji as devotee, Barsana Mataji, father and mailman, Dehuti Mataji, Nityananda Prabhu, Ganga Mataji, minister and Mukunda, Kamni Priya Mataji as Nawab, Kartika Mataji as Santosh, Mahanti Mataji as commander, Commander's voice has been recorded by Lakshmi Mataji, Nanda Nandan Mataji as Amar, Renuka Mataji as devotee, Rupavati Mataji as God, Shrisha Mataji as friend and a devotee, Shri Shakti Mataji as God and Chandrasekhar, Sunaina Mataji as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Yavana Sundari Mataji as devotee, Yugal Priti Mataji as Keshav Khan. The role of the narrator is being played by Mana Harani Mataji. Editors are mom and son Siddharth Prabhu and Damodarathi Mataji. Backstage helpers include Badra Bharati Mataji, Manahari Shakti Mataji, Prema Vinodana Mataji, Dhrati Mataji on curtains. As directors, we are grateful to Kalpataru Mataji and Sukriti Mataji. We are also immensely grateful to Abe Joshi Prabhu for his assistance with sound editing and technical support. We hope you enjoy the performance and feel inspired by the Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the teachings of the Goswamis. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. In every yoga, Lord Krishna appears with his personal associates to establish yoga dharma. In Kali Yoga, when he appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he had many of his associates appear with him to take part in his Leela. Among those associates, Srila Rup Goswami and Srila Sanatan Goswami are considered the most senior of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan. Their birth names were Amar and Santosh. In this drama, we are going to show how Amar and Santosh, by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, became Srila Rup Goswami and Srila Sanatan Goswami. When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, the state of Bengal was ruled by a Muslim king, Nawab Hussain Shah. Nawab was forcing atrocities on the Hindus and forcing them to convert to the Muslim religion. Before we start the drama, we are seeking blessings from Sri Sri Radha Nil Madhva, Sri Radha Girdhari, Sri Giri Govardhan, Sri Nithai Chaitanya Chandra and Sri Nithai Gaur Chandra and from all the assembled Vaishnavas. Hare Krishna! One day in the court of Nawab. Bengal Nawab Hussain Shah Tashreef la rahe hai Dear Commander in Chief Are we ready for the battle against Orissa? Our army has already surrounded the land of Orissa Now the land is under your control <laughs> by the strength of my sword and also by the strength of the commander in chief like you nobody can conquer me <laughs> I am very sorry to interrupt victory is not dependent on the sword or the intelligence of the commander in chief what is the meaning of your words just think about this in our country most of the population is Hindus if majority of the people are Hindus, there is no way we can conquer their hearts. Yes, that is very true. Even by our country's stringent rules and punishment, you cannot bring Hindus to our side. Whoever protests, I will kill him with my sword. By showing our weapons and punishing Hindus, we are developing enmities against our subjects. If our subjects are against us, it is not good for us. Minister, then what do we do? The Hindus who have complete faith in Vedas and Sastras, 
Is it possible to bring them to our side? Of course it is possible. These Hindus are like a flock of birds. With love we can gain victory. And for that all we need is a perfect leader for them. Bind them with love. Who is eligible to do such thing? Yes, in our country there is not just one but there are two brothers who can do this job. They are Amar and Santosh. Amar, Santosh, yes, they are experts in Vedas and Shastras. They are pure devotees. They are excellent in Sanskrit. They have the ability to capture the heart of the entire Hindu community. Oh Allah! The entire Hindu community? Tell me more! They are not only experts in Sanskrit, they are also experts in Bengali. They have written many poems and dharmic kritis in Bengali. All the Hindus appreciate them. Oh, is it so? Yes, if we make them part of our court, then with their intelligence our kingdom will flourish and in addition we can conquer the hearts of the Hindus. Sabash! That is very good plan. But there is a problem. We cannot bribe them with money. I don't know if they will agree to our request. Don't worry about that. I will take care of that. Amar. The Nawab will he stringe and rules, will bring nothing but trouble. His evil eyes have fallen onto my sons now. Don't worry, dear father. Everything ha- is happening according to Krishna's will. Nawab looking for us is also Krishna's will. No, we don't need this country. Shall we flee to another kingdom? Running away from this country is cowardly. Why should we run? We didn't commit any crime. We did not commit any mistake. But according to the Nava, being born Hindu is a mistake. This behavior of Nava is due to ignorance. Considering this mortal body as Hindu or Muslim is not right. The soul within the body is neither Hindu nor Muslim. Soul is Krishna's eternal servant. Who is Amar and Santos? I am Santosh and this is my younger brother Amar. The Nawab is looking for you both. You must come with us. You go. We will follow. Amar, Santosh, Amar, Santosh. Even though Nawab's intentions were wrong, Amar and Santosh went to Nawab's court. Namaskar. My name is Amar and this is my brother Santosh. Amar and Santosh. I have heard that you are very knowledgeable in all the scriptures and very expert in Sanskrit and Bengali. 
people have immense faith in us. With the blessings of the Vaishnavas, we have learned scriptures and different languages. Without these Vaishnavas, we are nothing. Mashallah! These statements prove how loyal you are. Straight to the point. I want to go to the different countries and spread my kingdom. I do not have time to look at the country's affair. I want to nominate you too as a minister of my country. Our goal is to learn Vedas and spread the knowledge of God to the people. For money, you want us to be your servants? You think we will accept this offer? There are many Hindus who work as my servant in this court. So this is not a new thing. Amar, you will be the main minister. And Santosh, you will be the finance minister. I'll give you wealth and prosperity like you would never imagine. What if we don't want to accept this offer? If you do not accept this offer, all the holy waters flowing in this country will be filled with the blood of Hindus. Will you serve me or you will allow your brothers to die? The decision is up to you. <laughs> For the protection of the Vaishnavas, Amar and Santosh took positions of ministers in the court of Nawab and started getting involved in day-to-day -day affairs. One day, Amar, Amar, what is it my dear brother? What happened? You look sad. Amar, I had a dream and in the dream I saw a sannyasi with a golden complexion. He was constantly chanting the names of Lord Hari. His hands reached his knees. He had a shining moon-like face. Aha! What beautiful features! Then, in the dream, the sannyasi told me not to get entangled in this material affairs, dedicate my life in serving Lord Krishna. After hearing to all your descriptions that Mahapurusha is none other than Lord Krishna who has appeared in this material world, in the complexion of Srimati Radharani. He must be Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What? Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? In my dream? Aha! What a mercy upon this fallen soul! All these material possessions, such as name, fame and wealth are all temporary. Those give us happiness to this material body. But for soul, all this material possession is of no use. Until we surrender our life to Lord Chaitanya, we will be like infertile land. To explain this, the Lord has come to my dream. So brother, shall we write a letter to Lord Chaitanya to get instructions for our future path? Good idea! We will now write a letter to Lord Chaitanya. Amar and Santosh wrote many letters to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to get instructions about their future path. They were waiting for the reply and darshan of Lord Chaitanya. One day... We have written many letters to Lord Chaitanya to know about our future. We still didn't get any reply from Mahaprabhu. Brother, we should not give up hope. Everything will happen according to Lord Krishna's plan. Welcome Nawab Hussain Shah, welcome. Amar Santosh, I am proud to have such gems like both of you in my court. All the country affairs are down to nothing now. The reason for that is because of your confidence in us. Yes, you are right. Ever since you have become the finance minister, I feel like I can trust and give the entire kingdom to you. I have to give both of you something. No, Nawab, we don't want anything. You have given us palaces and wealth. It is way more than what we deserve. I have given those out of love. You both deserve more than this. Senapati! Yes, Nawab. Tomorrow, organize a big celebration. 
Tomorrow, I'm going to appoint my dear Amar with the title of Dabir Khas. And for Santosh, I'll give him a title of Sakar Mali. And include them as one of my family members. <laughs> Why are you not saying anything? They're just speechless out of love for you. Dabir Khas and Sakar Mali. Let's meet in the celebration tomorrow. What kind of punishment is this? How much longer should we tolerate this? Did we read the Vedas to serve this Nawab? You have got a letter, sir. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has replied to all of our letters. Mahaprabhu has written a letter for us? Krishna's mercy is endless. Read it. He has given us instructions in this letter. He told us to wait for the right time. We should continue what we are doing, externally serving the king, but internally serving Lord Krishna and be happy. Wonderful! Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us instructions on how to lead our lives. These letters prove that Lord Chaitanya have forgiven all of our sins and given us his shelter. Amar, Santosh, did you hear the great news? What news? The news that we have been waiting for. The personality who can deliver all of us from these material miseries has arrived in Ramakedi. Who is that? Is he our Guru? Yes, yes. Our Guru, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, has come to Ramakeli. What? Our Guru? In Ramakeli? Such an exciting news. My heart is longing to see him right away. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is singing Harinam on the streets of Ramakeli. All the people are following him and dancing like mad men out of ecstasy. Come, let's go and get the association of Mahaprabhu. Mukunda Madhava Govinda Bol Keshava Madhava Hari Hari Join the Kirtan. Wait, don't go yet. We have waited for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's association for a long time. Why are you stopping me? Just think about it. We are all ministers of Nawab. Can you imagine the effect of us meeting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in public? What will happen, brother? If Nawab comes to know that we are visiting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then he may get very angry and start punishing Vaishnavas. Yes, brother, that's true. If Nawab gets to know, he might do anything. How unfortunate we are. Don't lose heart. We will meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the night. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Knowing the Nawab and the public's mindset, they decided to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu during the night. They took off their rich garments and put on ordinary Brahmin clothes. However, in order to get darshan of the Lord, they had to get mercy of the Adi Guru Srinityanand first. 
who can show them the way to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mukunda, where is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in another room meditating. It is about time that he will come. In a few minutes, you will get darshan of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The most merciful Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will clear all of your doubts. Nityananda Prabhu, only with your mercy, we will see the Lord. You are the incarnation of Sri Balram. Without your recommendation, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will never accept us. Do not worry. Within a few moments, he will show his mercy upon you. Mahaprabhu is coming! Mahaprabhu is coming! Mahaprabhu is coming! May Krishna bless you. This is Sakar Malik and this is the Beer Kas. They have come to surrender their life for you. Even though they have high positions in the court of Nawab, they are very meek and humble. Nityananda, just by looking at them, I can see they are very humble. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we are fallen souls. We are not qualified to stand in front of you. We are associated with sinful Nawab. We are ready to offer all of the wealth that we have earned to your lotus feet. But by the conditions imposed by the Nawab, our hands are tied. Without doing service to you, we are going through so much pain. Please save us, Mahaprabhu. You delivered the most sinful Jagai and Marai, but they did not change religion like us. We are more sinful than them. You have to save us, Mahaprabhu. Please save us. Stop it. Don't be harsh on yourself. Each and every word you are saying is hurting my heart. You don't know about yourself. You have come to this world for a special reason. Whenever I come, you have accompanied me for the purpose of spreading the holy name. Just like how the lotus flower in the dirty pond is very pure. Even though you are in the material world in such a bad situation, you are very pure. The main reason I have come to Ramakeli is to meet you both. From now on, you both are responsible to perform many activities in spreading the holy name of the Lord. We have waited for this day for a very long time. Since you follow Sanatan Dharma, and you are very expert in spreading it. From now on, you will be called Sanatan Goswami. Haribo! Dabir Khas, since you are Bhakti Rupa, from now on, you will be called Rupa Goswami. Haribo! After initiation and under the guidance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami only wanted to serve Lord Chaitanya's mission of spreading the holy name. However, due to their present situation, Sanatan Goswami stayed back and approved Rupa Goswami to quit the courtly affairs and serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even Sanatan Goswami slowly reduced his courtly duties and spent more time in devotional service. Then. One day, Welcome, Nawab. 
What are you thinking of yourself? Nawab, come and sit, please. Answer all my questions first. Nawab, my health is very bad. Therefore, I cannot take the responsibilities of the court. I had written everything in the letter and sent it to you. Surely, you received it. This is a lie. The court doctor tested you and informed me that you are perfectly fine. You do not have strength to be in the court, but you have strength to do kirtan. Singing the glories of Lord is natural to all living beings. I have decided to engage myself fully in the service of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I don't want to involve myself in the court affairs. Please accept my resignation and appoint someone else. Appoint someone else? What happened to you? I accepted you like my brother. I gave position and wealth. Until now, you are very responsible with your duties. We are now ready to fight outside countries. You have to take responsibilities of the kingdom. How could you want to quit the kingdom, run away and be a coward like, like your brother? Forget the resignation. Come and continue your duty in code. Please forgive me, Nawab. I am firm in my decision. I do not have any interest to continue material affairs. I want to spread my life in service of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Stop it! Stop your foolish words! If you disobey my order, you will have to face the consequence. Careful! Everything will happen according to Krishna's will. He sanctions everything in this world. Senapati, arrest this foolish man and put him in the prison. Nawab did not want to lose Sanatan Goswami just like how he lost Rup Goswami. Therefore, he imprisoned Sanatan Goswami. Sanatan, Sanatan, everything happening to you is wrong. Don't worry, Keshav Khan. Starting from the minister to the ordinary person, nobody can stand against Nawab. This is all fate. That is true. By the way, I have a letter for you from Rupa Goswami. Do not let anyone see it. Keep it safe. Thank you very much. I am very grateful for that. I, I got, got association, association of Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu at Prayag. He gave, he gave me orders to go to Vrindavan and write, write Kritis about, about Radha and, and Krishna. Krishna. I have, I have sent, sent you 10,000 10, gold, gold coins. coins. Using, using the coins, the coins somehow, somehow come out, out of the prison, prison and, and come, come to Vrindavan. I am, I am always, always thinking, thinking about, about your, your welfare. welfare. Ruk, Ruk. This is called fate. He was in a rich palace, sleeping on a soft bed. Now look at him. He is sleeping in a prison. I have seen so many people come to the prison, but no one is like Sanatan. My dear Lord, only you can save him. Using the, the coins, coins somehow, somehow get, get out, out of, of the prison. prison. Swami! Swami! Do you want anything? I want to talk to you about something. Can you listen to me please? Talk right now. It is the middle of the night. It is a very important news. Tell me Sakar Malik. Swami, if I look at you, you look like a great devotee of Allah. Looks like you read Quran every day and follow the principles of Holy Quran. I can see the mercy of Allah on your face. Sakar Malik, do you know the reason for that? For the last 30 years, I didn't miss praying namaz even for one day. Of course, you will see the divine qualities in me. That means that you know all the principles of Quran. Yes, I read the Quran every day for an hour. Then you know that whoever is imprisoned, if they go to Mecca and spend the rest of their life in Mecca, they will be getting the blessings of Allah and go to heavenly abode. Yes, Sakar Malik, I know all these. Why are you telling me all this? Swami, 
I want to go to Holy Mecca and spend my life. If you help me escape from the prison, you'll get the blessings of Allah. Not only that, if you help me, I will give you 5,000 gold coins. I'm a real Muslim and it is my duty to help you go on this holy journey. But if I help you, the Wab will kill me. Don't worry, Nawab is not in the country right now. Tell him that you took me to attend nature's call and then to the Ganges for bath and I accidentally fell inside the river. Since I was shackled, I couldn't free myself and I might have died. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't get scared. I will never return to this country. I will spend my life like forget. And for this, I will give you 2,000 more gold coins. 7,000 gold coins. Sakar Malik, what are you saying? Is it possible? Yes, please help me. Okay, okay. Sanatan Goswami successfully escaped from the prison and heard that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in Varanasi in his disciple Chandrashaikar's home, so he plans to go there. Chandrashaikar, continue your life by singing Kirtan and distributing Prasad. By this, Lord Krishna will be merciful and bless you. Everything is possible by your mercy. What happened, Mahaprabhu? Chandrasekhar, you are a very fortunate person. A pure devotee has arrived to your home. Go outside and bring him inside. What? A pure devotee? I will go right away and bring him inside. I don't see any pure devotee like you said. Then who is sitting in the front of the door? There is one person sitting outside, but he looks like a Muslim beggar. Yes, he is the pure devotee. Please bring him inside right away. I am waiting for him only. Oh Mahatma, please come inside. Mahaprabhu is waiting for you. What? Mahaprabhu is calling me inside? Yes, come inside. Sanatan, Sanatan. No, no, Mahaprabhu. With your golden hands, do not touch this sinful person. I am embracing you for my purification. By your pure devotion, you can purify the entire world. I am not qualified for such words. These are not my words, but from Srimad Bhagavatam, where Yudhishthira Maharaj is telling Vidura, pure devotees like you are like holy places. You have Vishnu inside your heart. You can even purify the holy places by your presence. Mahaprabhu, I am always your servant. Only by your mercy, I was able to overcome all the difficulties in my life. I am seeking for your shelter. Sanatan, you are a pure Vaishnava who follows the principles of bhakti. Serving your lotus feet gives fulfillment to the heart. Singing your glories gives fulfillment to the tongue. In this material world, the appearance of such a pure devotee is very rare. Mahaprabhu, Sanatan Goswami can reside in my house as long as he lives in Varanasi. Please forgive me. I have taken the principles of Madhukari. I cannot fulfill your desires. Please forgive me. Aha Sanatan, you have all qualifications to reside in Vrindavan. Your brother Rupa Goswami is waiting for you in Vrindavan. You go to Vrindavan right away. 
then with your brother Rupa Goswami write all the grantha related to bhakti tatvas also discover the holy places where the divine pastime of Radha Krishna took place 5000 years ago give life to those places mahaprabhu what a wonderful service you have assigned to me please bless me to carry out your desire shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ki jai hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram